Maybe today be okay. Maybe today will be all right. This is the day I'm going to lose it. I could lose it. Morning, Bri. Coffee? Who is this? You coming? Yeah. Okay, so right, great. Who's Bri? So with runners on second and third, he decides to call the hit and run. The hit and run! Why is he touching? Anyway, he runs the hit and run, of course he gets a pitch out and he gets nailed between Tony, third and home. Gets nailed! Why do I listen to him? Morning all. Beautiful day. Thanks. So you guys mind if I join in? Good morning, Brian. Nice shirt. Nice shirt. Oh, wait. Who the hell said they wouldn't win? Look at the team. Look at the look at the stats. I mean, no, Brian. You know this stuff better than most. What do you think the result will be? What does any of this matter? It'll be a slaughter. Uh, I knew it! Yeah. Just when I put down money on the team, now Brian tells me they're gonna lose. Thanks a lot, pal. Good money, buddy. All right, I gotta go. I've got class. Later, gentlemen. And Brian. <laughs> Why is this funny? You run. You run. Do I laugh or? Or? <laughs> And then they're right up. I'm saying, guy, I'm like spectator, like monopoly groupies. <laughs> so I said, thanks for nothing, buddy. True story. Brian, are you listening? I guess I need to know where this is all going. I mean, neither of us is getting any younger, and, well, where, where do you see this thing ending up? Future, Bri. Our future. Let's talk, love. Well, let's not rush into anything. One day at a time. Why spoil a good thing, right? Tomorrow's another day. I see the good sense in that. Thanks, babe. You always help me get sorted. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay. Later. Okay. Sure. You bet. And who can remember what Smith had to say about this aspect of the market economy? Smith. Yeah. Well, uh, he stated that Setters Paribus, the market had to dictate supply. That's true. That's true. But what if we throw a wrench in the gears? What if there's a loss of balance between supply and demand? Say an increase in demand, but not supply. I'm glad yeah. you broke up with that. Uh, that would mean the buyer would have to pay nuts. more for product. Right. I have no so idea what I'm doing here. The seller's market. Sometimes when this happens. <laughs> Am I alone? Hey, Brian, got a minute? Did I ever tell you about the time I met a hooker in a bar in Chicago and she wanted to have sex with me in the elevator or lift? Do you call them a lift? Anyway, she's seen my work. I was writing for the Post and she had a journalist fetish. Well, let me tell you, that was only rivaled by the time I swam the English Channel with that vixen Martina, Is this real? the Russian princess. She was hot. I'm not talking lukewarm. No siree. Not one bit. Nothing tepid or redundant about this one. Nothing wasted on communication or transcripts, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to. I've got to go. You've got a lot. Don't want admin seeing you going in late. 
Don't want the students seeing you late. Don't want to be late. Don't want to seem late. Behind, out of touch, out of reach, out of control. Beyond reason, lost, floundering, hopeless, helpless. Late is not coolio. I was working in Kajakistan once, writing for the Times, and there was this guy who was fired at the office there for being late. And let me tell you, there was a place for discipline. They knew how to run a tight ship, or boat, or however you want the phrase to work. Funny thing, language. Hey, Bri, I know you're in there. And I know your little secret. Oh, yeah, I know all about it. You know how Plato would have handled this, don't you? Uh, uh, we'll talk later. I'll see you at the game. And don't be late. I'll, I'll save you a seat. Maybe that barmaid will be working tonight. You know, the one with the big, yeah, smiles. All right, later, Bri. OK, see you later. You bet. No such thing as existentialism in a world void of free choice. Nonsense, nonsense. Because even if you decide not to make a choice, you've made a choice. Hey, hey, come on, it's Friday. Light is free. Whatever. You guys in your metaphysics think it never saved me any money. What about experience? There's more to this than just looking at the big picture. Whatever happened to micromanagement? Paradigm shifts. Maybe Machiavelli was right. If it doesn't lessen the role of strong women, I don't care. Let them all have their cake and eat it too. Hey, anyone want to go and have a drink? I'm buying. Earn that money, now time to go and buy a beer for the guys and feel like, like you're worth something. Like in that movie. Who's in that movie? What, the bottle in the bar movie? Uh, it might have been that. What was that called? Oh, that was cocktail. She has no choice. She has no choice. Let's go. 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 Let's go.